Welcome back guys, now today I'm going to talk about why you should obtain the T-72 Moderna, but before we get into that, make sure to sit behind the subscribe button on an airline flight and put on sandals and socks and proceed to put your feet on his hand rest for the rest of his 8 hour flight. Now in terms of the T-72 Moderna, it is actually a pretty decent tank. Now I typically don't like Russian tanks, they ammo rack extremely quickly, but this thing does get a 30mm on the top and it has 60 five millimeters of penetration default shell you do not get the special shell but it is enough to kill aa and certain mbts after you hit them or if you hit them just from the back now this thing also has a 125 millimeter cannon with up to 500 in nine millimeters of penetration which is actually very good especially for a tank that you could basically get for free of course um by free i mean selling your soul for eight hours a day but if you just go in the marketplace you can just buy it there now this does need tanks to complement it of course and that is why i will bring the bmp 2m now this thing is pretty decent i love when this thing was released I used it a ton, but it is a great addition to the T-72 Moderna. If you bring these two in a combo, oh my gosh, you're going to slaughter. And it gets a very good ATGM with 1,200 millimeters of penetration, which is absolutely insane. So I highly suggest you bring the BMP-2M with your T-72 Moderna lineup. Now, another vehicle that is extremely overpowered is the Ka-52. Now, this thing has its own radar. It's pretty maneuverable. It can survive without its tail. Of course, Gaijin put a respawn timer because of that and it also has these amazing ATGMs that could take out aircraft and tanks alike which is extremely overpowered I don't know how they're going to balance the frog foot that carried these but overall it's an excellent addition to your T-72 Moderna lineup also a quick shout out go check out the real Avenger he's uploading videos on aircraft that will potentially be added to War Thunder in the near future anyway let's get into the video so one thing I like to do with really any tank is go into a hold down position now now, Russian tanks typically don't have the best pressure, they're always happy, unfortunately. But I did manage to get a neat little spot and hide for a bit around the snow. And you can see the T-72 Moderna can tank shots pretty well. As long as you're not getting hit from the side and ammo racking, you could do a lot of damage in a position like this. Another thing to note is this does get a shovel, so if you go to a pretty decent position, you could dig yourself in and just hold out there with little damage affecting the tank, because all you'll have is the turret above the ground. Now with that being said, the reverse speed of this tank is eh, but it is doable. I mean, if you take your shot and you're not too exposed anyway, it doesn't take long to get unexposed, right? So I highly suggest you shoot and then pull back as quick as possible because you never know who's looking at you. But with that being said, I've had a really good time using this in a hold down position on a mountain just holding a flank and i highly suggest you guys go on the edge of the map because that is less angles tanks could hit you you only have to watch a couple angles in front of you and to maybe to your sides of course but uh you know no one's gonna sneak up behind you they might sneak up to the side of you and that happens later in this match but uh you can see how well this tank does just sitting waiting taking shots it's absolutely amazing also coupled with its commander thermals and normal thermals with the gun this thing is amazing because you can just peek over hills without having to expose the tank too much. Now, of course, I over push it and I get flanked and die, but that's four kills right there. Now you can see here, I launch at the A-10 and he goes evasive, he goes behind trees and stuff. Finally, he goes vertical, I launch another one at him and this one seems to track just perfect. Call 52 is really an amazing tank killer and aircraft killer. Just sit and launch and boom. It's honestly a really, really good combo because, well, after you get a couple kills with the T-72 or even one kill with the T-72, you can spawn in the Ka-52 immediately, which is absolutely insane. And that's including its missiles, etc. Now, in terms of the T-72 Moderna 30 millimeter, it's actually pretty decent. Now, you're not gonna be killing MDTs left and right. Of course, it's possible, but the T-72 Moderna 30 mm millimeter is only good for lightly armored vehicles such as AA or certain tanks. It could kill main battle tanks, but uh, the place you're going to want to aim on main battle tanks is mostly their guns. So if someone takes out your turret, you could just use the 30 millimeter to take out their turret or their barrel. 
and it's a very very effective way to kill other tanks that are trying to kill you and i highly recommend this tank just because the 30 millimeter alone it gives you sort of a second life in a way i remember hitting an abrams and his gun wasn't quite down and he shot my gun off so i was like oh screw you i'll just use my 30 millimeter and break a barrel and i ended up repairing and killing him so it is a lifesaver in certain scenarios you won't be using it all the time but when you use it, it, it feels pretty good to escape certain death. Now, in terms of the main gun, the main gun's amazing. If you aim in the right place, you're going to one-tap the tank, obviously. And that's with most guns. But this gun is a 502mm penning gun. Now, you need to remember, this tank has a BR of 10.0. I'm bringing this thing to top tier. So if you get down tiered or you bring it to its normal BR of 10.0, you're going to have a 501mm penning gun, which is more than enough for 10.0. So even if you do bring this at a max BR or top tier you're not going to be struggling trying to pen through leopard armor you should be able to kill leopards if you aim in the right spot and I love cast the only reason I play tanks is to play cast so I brought this thing only to top tier so I can use my Ka 52 and shoot down as many aircraft as I possibly and with that being said the main tactic i like to use with this tank is just camping basically now i won't camp their spawn because you know people don't like that or whatever and that's not fun to do but if you find a spot on the edge of the map you just sit camp wait for people to roll up and then kill them in this scenario there was a guy a couple meters away from me camping in the same spot and i was like oh okay i'll go kill him you can also see how potent the gun is versus helicopters it's really good so it's a lifesaver especially early matches people will spawn in their patch try to strafe everybody or if you get a mixed match you're gonna get like 50 ka 50s trying to kill you while you have a 30 millimeter which is a very very fun thing to deal with those are just a couple more reasons why i suggest getting the t72 another reason is the t72 moderna would be here when the su25 is added to the game and you see that kill right there that was done with the same missiles that are going to go on the su25 T, I believe. So, you know, that's something to look forward to. So, I definitely want a sweet MBT to go with my frog foot, especially if they're getting missiles like that. But, uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments down below. If you guys think this tank is worth it, or if you guys think it's not, I would love to know down in the comments down below. Also, do not forget to put your sandals and socks on the armrest chair of the subscribe button in front of you on his eight hour flight to Miami. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please join the Discord down below, and take care, guys.